welcome to my studio. Today we're working on our fall owl candle and we just picked up our candle from a Dollar Tree that's got fall colors. We're going to kind of make an owl that's a little bit more dimensional. It sticks off. These are so simple to make. You'll have lots of fun with them and they're inexpensive once you have your initial supplies. So let's get started and have some fun. For our frosted lace, we're going to be using um, caulking, which is a latex caulk silicone. And you always want to make sure that it is white. It does come in clear and different colors, so we want to make sure that we have white. And I use Alex Plus, and I pick mine up in Walmart and I pay less than two dollars for it so it makes it very affordable to be able to use this and this will go a long long ways. So once you're ready to use this I use it with a caulk gun and I just cut the tip off the farther up you cut it the more is going to come out at a time so that's up to you and just simply set it into your gun and start to pull that until the cock starts to come out the front and we'll put that directly into our mold. So I did the owls and this is one of our molds and we've got three different owls and we've got some trees or some feathers. You could use these two either way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our caulking on. It doesn't take that much. And then I'm going to take my scraper and the molds and the scrapers are both found at MiriamJoy.com and what we want to do is fill up all of the little holes in the mold and keep the stuff off the top as much as possible to make it easier to clean later on and you can see how little that actually is using but I want to show you I've got spaces here here and here that I still need to fill up and I'm using something to do it on. And if you don't, you do it on a table or something, make sure you wipe it off right afterwards. You can add coloring to this, but you want to do it before um, you put it in because it's kind of the, the caulking is sealed afterwards. So it's better to apply the color before hand and this is going to take us right up to that very last one and we want to get this off as much as possible but you don't want to pick up or scrape any of the other that you already have on and I need to make sure that my scraper is as wide as my mold so I don't run a line down the middle or anything like that but that is good to go and so we're going to let that dry and we'll talk about how long to dry when we get ready to take it out. Once I'm all done with that I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. You could peel it off later if you wanted to but it's easier to do it now and then to put your caulking away I just simply take I take a plastic baggie, you could use uh, saran wrap, anything you wanted to, to seal it. And I just put a rubber band around it till it's airtight. I've literally had one over a year and it was still good. And then I just stored it just like that. So that's up to uh, you what you want to put on it. But then you can save it for your next project. So while that's drying, I'm going to remove this with my heat gun or my embossing gun heat tool. I'm just going to heat it up enough that we can get this off. I found these really cute candles at Dollar Tree, but they have them in a lot of different places. But I really like for the fall 
the kind of yellow to orange, but that should be something kind of seasonal, so you should be able to find that. And then if you need to clean it off a little bit more, you can do that with like your Goo Gone or whatever method. You have to go ahead and completely remove all the st sticky stuff off. And then I would clean it with alcohol just to make sure we've got that nice and clean. I usually let these dry overnight. and You can kind of tell when they're dry because they'll pop up really easy and nothing will be sticking to the bottom. So that's kind of how you can tell they dry. Um, it's going to depend on your weather. It's going to depend on how warm it is and everything else on how fast because I know I'll get questions on that. So just when it kind of reaches that stage. And I've tried to hurry this along like putting it in a, a low temp oven and stuff and it just hasn't worked well for me. So, um, But now that we've done that, we're going to remove all of this extra stuff on here and think about it kind of like clearing a stained glass window so you can see through it all of these little guys in here were if there's a part that's still there you're going to have um kind of gunk in there and it won't be nice and crisp so that's what we're trying to get rid of is all of those little pieces like that so that it is nice and clean and if you happen to take it out you can still stick it back in and what I do is I just take a little bit of water and I just dip my finger the smallest amount I can and I rub to make this all clean and we just go all the way through all of our owls and just clean this whole part off. But you're looking anything, any of these little guys that we need to clean up. And it makes a little bit of a mess. So uh, the white stuff does. You might want to do it on a tray if you're sitting in the living room or something so you don't have to go vacuum after you're done. My husband's vacuumed lots lately. I'll sit down and do these a bunch at a time. I'll do all my molds and have them set up so I can use them when I want them. That they're all done. And see this little guy right here? He's got a bunch of little ones here. And I want to try and get those as well as I can. I might not be able to get quite that part there but the rest of that looks pretty good so let's take a look at him and we have him all cleared out so that looks really really good and he's pretty firm he's going to stretch but you'll be really surprised on how nice these really really do turn out they don't break really easy so let's get ready to finish our project here Okay, now that we've got our owls all done, I'm going to take him outside and I'm going to spray him. For this one, I'm going to use um, some Loctite spray adhesive. You might want to try some different kinds and see which ones you like best. There is a front and a back to these. The part that was down into the mold is smoother, so we want to spray on the back part. And I want to leave this... Um, on about uh, two or three minutes before I put it onto the candle itself and so I'm going to take this outside and I am going to spray it because you want to do it in a well ventilated area and I'm going to do it a little bit farther away and I want to make sure that I get everything pretty good and well coated on our little owl so he'll stick nice and well to our candle. While we're still waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put my raffia on. You could use whatever you wanted. I took about three strands. You could use ribbon if you wanted or whatever you think you would really like. And I'm putting this on so I know where to set my owl. Otherwise it might kind of cover it up a little bit. And we want to make sure that we can see him all the way. So, get this bow tied right here. So it's nice. You don't want it too big 
for the size of your candle. And then I'm just going to trim unevenly. I don't want them all one length. And if you want them shorter than that, go ahead and take them shorter than that. And I'm going to put my owl on now. And he should be sticky everywhere. Careful not to touch him like the top to the bottom or anything like that because he will stick on himself. We want to make sure that we have him nice and even here. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and press him on. Another thing I have done, I've got the bow on, so it would be a little bit harder. But as I've taken this and rolled it to make sure that it was on nice and good. So once we've got him all on, we can go ahead and start to um, put on some of our accessories. I mean, I like the little berry picks and you can usually find them anytime in the fall. Sometimes they're, you have to find them in garlands or sometimes they're by themselves. And I'm just going to twist this kind of up so that it's not too far. And I'm doing two of them, but I want to make sure that when I put them on, I'm going to do three so that they're odd, so that it looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And one more here. And we're going to hot glue these onto the raffia because the, um, the glass would not hold our hot glue. So we're just going to glue these on and we want to kind of want to tuck them in but we're going to have a couple of layers so don't worry about it too much if you need to pull them out a little bit or move them around go ahead and do that there's no right or wrong if you decided you'd rather have them even on both sides and do them even on both sides that's this is yours make it yours And you could put fall leaves in this. You could do all kinds of fun. Another thing that I thought would really be cute instead of the little tiny pine cones that I have is some acorns. So most of you have um, acorns available that you can use. But I'm going to use little tiny pine cones on these. And put that together right there. Try to keep that out of your owl as much as possible. You probably could be using this on low temp instead of high temp. Low temp just doesn't give you quite as much working time as the high temp does. That's just about all, but it usually doesn't burn you if you get your fingers into it. So isn't that really cute and simple? Now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some little tiny flat stones on. You can find little tiny guys like this um, in your scrapbook section at the store because that's usually what they are. They're flat on one side. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on with E6000. If these had been any bigger I would have done this before we um, put the spray adhesive on because they would slide or run and let those dry probably overnight or at least for a couple of hours but since these are so little I don't think they're going to go very far on me and I just really think this makes the whole owl pop. I just like the look with the eyes and on my other one I took my um, permanent marker and just dotted an eye and these I don't think I'm going to because these are a little bit smaller and I'll show you what I mean here we dotted a, a little eye but these are smaller but there's all things 
you can do with them. Just have fun with them and make them your own. And you could sit down and do a bunch of these if you had to have some party favors or um, game favors during this time of season. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Come on over to MiriamJoy.com and get your owl. It's under the frosted lace molds, which this is my favorite one to use. I'm going to use it in lots of different projects. You also can use it to make cards with as well. So think outside the box and see what you can do with it. I'd love to see your examples. You can always email me at art at Thank you. God bless.